Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shaquem Wynn, and welcome to another Dunkin' Skids podcast. Kablooey! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shaquem Wynn, and I am the creator of Dunkin' Skids. Today, we're going to talk about uh, more parts of the production. About two weeks ago, we just finished the Duncan Skids theme song. My cousin Hassan Denard and I, we worked on that. And I have to say, it came out really well. And here's the, and here's the problem. I was going to put it on the web to let everybody see it and hear it. But my cousin had an idea, which I thought was a great idea. He said, don't put it out yet. Put it out with a proper introduction. You know, like most cartoons, you look at all the great cartoons like Ghostbusters, um, Top Cat, Herculoid, Space Ghost, all those things like that. Even the freaking Boondocks had a great intro that was with their songs, that went along with their songs. And I said to myself, my cousin is right. This is something that I should do. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on uh, an animated intro that'll go along with the song that my cousin Hassan recorded. The song is great. It's fantastic. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I'm really proud of it. I watched him put this thing together in like 15 minutes. Like I said before, my cousin is a genius. And the song basically gives you, like all great introductions should, it gives you insight into the story before you actually see the story progress in the episode. Everything that you need to know about Duncan Skids is in that first intro. And my cousin understood that. He understood what makes a great intro to a cartoon show. I mean, what makes a great song to a cartoon show. And what he did was he looked at all of the cartoons of the past. Not the cartoons that you see now. You know, most cartoons that you see now, they don't have an intro. They just have a little tiddly tank song. Uh, more like a, a musical montage. But no. He created a song that was in the tradition of the boondocks. Yet was set apart from it. And it was great. And so that's what so that's what's been done. And that's what we've recorded. And now I'm just animating the intro to that. Also, I'm going to cut a trailer together very soon. The reason why I have not cut it yet because animation is still being done. You know, animation is a very difficult process. And not only that, I'm still working on the web comics that I have. And I'm still working on the story blogs that I have. And so it's going to take more time than I anticipated. But rest assured, it's going to get done. Like I said before, Duncan Skids will live forever. As long as I live, Duncan will live. And I plan on living forever. That's just the way it is. Blow. So that's where we add on that. And like I said before, the animation is coming out great. Um, this is my first foray into animation. Never done it before. But I studied it for years. And if you studied animation for years, and if you practice a lot, you're actually going to get good at it. And I'm getting very good at it. Also, what I want to talk about is the webcomic. 
uh, like I said before, more pages of the webcomic is being produced. I'm also working on a uh, Duncan Skids documentary, the making of the animation and the concept of the character and everything. So my cousin will be helping me produce that as well. We start filming pieces of that tomorrow. Well, actually, we filmed a little, a little bit of it last week. But we really go into the, the actual filming process of it tomorrow. So we're going to get that done as soon as possible. And it's just good, like I said, it's going to give us insight into the process, um, where the idea came from. It's going to have interviews with cast and crew. So you're going to be hearing like the voice and seeing the person behind the voice of Kim. Although the first cartoon, I did the voice for it. The first vo voiceover of Kim was myself. Um, my cousin, he just dubbed it to make it sound like a little girl's voice. Like I said, he's that good. But basically all the voices to the first cartoon are me. Because we couldn't get anybody else to do it. And my cousin thought that I was good enough that I could do all the voices. And that's where we're at on that. So you're going to see my, my niece, Talia win. She's going to be doing voiceovers. You're going to see friends of mine, such as Stephen Leathers, uh, other people like that. Uh, they're going to be doing voiceovers as well. Because as the cartoon series progress, I'm going to introduce new characters. And they're going to be interesting. So that's where we're at on that. I'm also producing a fanzine. So basically I'm drawing a lot of images for that. I'm putting a lot of the stuff into Photoshop. And that magazine is going to come out by next year. And that's going to go along with the webcomic that I plan on uh, handing out uh, at Comic Con and things like that to, to help promote not only the webcomic but the cartoon series. So like I said before, we're far from done ladies and gentlemen. Duncan Skids is where it's at. We just want to make sure everybody knows who he is. And people will know who he is. Because as I said before, Duncan Skids lives forever. This is Shaquem Wynn from Mythic Eye Publications. Peace. Come on.